Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Psycho Sim Project here on Total Metal Radio. I am with Brett of Revocation. How you doing, mate? What's going on, man? How are y'all? I'm good, cheers. Um, how's the tour been going so far? The tour has been fantastic so yeah. far. Yeah, we're, we're uh, very well acquainted with the Aeon guys. Yeah. And we just met the Cannibal guys for the first time. Phil was friends with them, and everybody's got a total cool vibe and gelling really hard and working together. and partying hard and having a lot of laughs together. Excellent. And excellent. the shows have been fantastic. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, <laughs> I, you spend so much time with the dudes, you know what I mean? Like when you think about tour, it's like, yeah, tour, we hung out with these dudes, you know what I mean? <laughs> but the shows have been fantastic as well. Apart from the small issue with Russia. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> we, uh, fortunately for us, we were not on that leg of the tour. Oh, right, yeah. yeah, yeah. But the, the Cannibal Boys had a tough time over there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I thought you were on that part as well. Okay, <laughs> Okay, like I said, you turn with Campbell Corps and Aeon, I believe it's pronounced that way anyway. Um, have you been getting on with the other bands? Oh, dude, totally, <laughs> man. Well, we did Summer Slaughter with Aeon last year. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, we both, our band and their band, have the same, like, sick sense of humor. <laughs> so the jokes have been more than plentiful. Yeah. <laughs> and Cannibal Corpse are just the nicest guys ever. So yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's good hanging out with them as well. Okay, um, now for my listeners who have never, say, heard you before, how would you describe your sound? Uh, I mean, nowadays people are saying like thrashy death metal, things like that. If you want something different, it's got, you know, there's rocking solos in our stuff. You know, you got Dave and Dan who are both ripping ass guitar players. So yeah. you can expect to hear some super shredding going on. <laughs> so I'd, I'd just say fast playing, groove and super shredding and then tag on whatever type of metal you want to call it. <laughs> You know, Basically, just put it under metal. For, yeah, and more or less. We put it under metal and expect a bit of brutality. Yeah, you know? we play metal that's brutal and fast and catchy at times and shredding and, you know, fun. Yeah. But at the same time, serious. Excellent, excellent. Um, how do you deal with what is essentially playing to a hardcore crowd who are, let's face it, mainly here for Cannibal Corpse in some cases? They've been very welcoming to us. Yeah, yeah we've been drawing hard on this one as well. Because, yeah. uh, you know, it's the fourth time for the band to be in, in you know, Europe. Yeah. Especially, yeah. you know, over here as well, in Great Britain. <laughs> and um, every time it gets better and better. You know, the first trip that I made over with the band, we were on tour with Cere Cerebral Boar, Job for a Cowboy, and Dying Fetus. I'll bet that was my that was, I mean, that was like a tough crowd. You have people looking at you and just deadpanning you. Now it's like we can get a circle pit going like in places that they don't circle pit. So yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's been a great response. That's, that's always a... Uh... A lot of people have been coming up to me as well, like when I'm selling t-shirts, like, hey man, you guys brought like a different vibe to the table. It was yeah. a fun but serious vibe. So I really enjoyed it. And that's what we're getting on this one, which is cool. That's what it's, but it's all about. You can get the circle pit going. You know you're winning them over, basically. Yeah, you want to keep it heavy, but do your thing. And hopefully they like it. Yeah, yeah. and if not... You did your best, yeah, essentially. Exactly. <laughs> um, now, you've just released an excellent new album called Deathless. Oh, my God, for a second there. Um, was recording the album an easy or difficult process? This was uh, the easiest experience I had recording. It's yeah. my third release with the band, and we were very well prepared. Everything was very well thought out, and we're working with Zeus, who's a fantastic producer. Yeah, yeah. So we pretty much went in and, like, got a lot of work done and kicked it and sat down and got to like really concentrate on some things that we didn't get to concentrate on before. <laughs> so it was a really pleasurable experience. So you weren't having to rush it this time? No, <laughs> no, the first two releases, like the, the Scion EP, I had like three weeks to get my shit together because yeah. they just asked me to join the band and then we were going in three weeks later. I was like, uh, yeah, I can, I can do it, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know, baptism so, by fire. Yeah, baptism. Yeah, like, <laughs> fuck, you know what I mean? But yeah, that was that. Come on, it's cool if you want to come hang. Um, Right on. Okay, um, what's involved in the writing process for Revocation? Uh, writing process, you got Dave is the main songwriter, Dan right behind him, and they pretty much bring the full product to the table, they have the vision of how they want it to sound, and then, you know, the rest of the members will kind of just throw their spice on it, if needs be, you know what I mean, we communicate about, hey man, what are you looking for for this, and th the guys are very clear with what they want yeah so, so they sort like, of say what the vibe of the lyrics yeah, should be and, like, yeah, yeah this is what I'm going for Dave especially is like very uh, lyrically focused you know especially he, he ties all concepts together and each thing since he's writing they mean a lot to him so 
he'll explain it to you and yeah. he'll let you know when he wants you to mess around or when he wants you to stick to the groove. <laughs> okay. Um now obviously you've moved to Metal Blade. Um have you found that being on Metal Blade has worked out as a bit of a better label for the band than when you were previously on Relapse Records? Hey man, you know, we love Relapse Records. Yeah. Those guys yeah. are our close friends and they've helped the band grow and they've always been there for us. We had a great time working with them. You know, time came for a change. You know, Metal Blade is a little bit bigger of a label, yeah. so yeah. For us, we saw that as an opportunity to kind of move forward in a certain direction. And we're having a great time working Metal Blade, too. We love them as well. They've been working really hard, very clear with us, came through with all their promises, and they're just a fantastic team of people. And obviously, you're on a label with bands like Campbell Corp, Six Feet Under. Yeah, totally. For, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a label, you know yeah. what I mean? But however you want to interpret the label is up to you, you know? Well, it could be worse. You could be on Roadrunner and end up with Nickelback Tours or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's it's all the same. As long as I'm playing, I'm happy. Yeah. Like, Metal Blade is really great to us, and Relapse is also really great to us. Excellent, excellent. Um, now, on the special edition version of your new album, you've got a cover of Morbid Angel's um, Swarm to the Black. Yes, How did this come about? Um... Man, well, we knew we wanted to do a morbid cover on that one, yeah. and we were having a little, uh, a lot of discussions about which one. And I was, I was talking to my friend Dieter, who uh, is a dude who got these three, and then we we're talking with the guys, and you know, he, he threw that one on the table at us, and we all talked about it. And we're like, yeah, that's kind of the one, man. It just it fits, and it's a ripping tune, and, and it's like, not one that's covered too much either. Yeah, <laughs> no, not at all, man. It's like you know, Dave and Dan are up for the challenge with that stuff. Yeah, and uh, you know, Trey's playing is just so insane. He does his own thing, so it's like it was a challenge for the guys to really crack into Trey's brain and like decode those parts and like go for it and give it our own flair. Yeah, that that would have been a challenge. Really. Yeah, it was exciting though, man. It was really cool. Okay, excellent. Um, now, for the people who've never seen you live before, I mean, I'll admit I've never seen you live before, um, what can we expect from the live experience tonight? Uh, it's just going to be, expect uh, a good vibe, heavy, serious, but, uh, you know, we want the audience to have fun. So a bit of a metal party guy. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's not, you know, it's not like Pizza Thrash or like, yeah, you know, yeah. or anything like that, or... We're not as like wild as the ways to have guys riding around on like bodyboards and stuff, but you know, it's, it's well, you say this, there is someone dressed up outside as a giant oh, penis. Tonight is hard. <laughs> I don't fucking know either. Yeah, very good point. Expect a good time. I think the crowd's in it to party tonight. Yeah, we're in it to party, but you know, after we deliver the goods, of course. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Right um, obviously, you're the newest member of the band. Correct. Um, having only been part of Revocation for a couple of years, have you found it easy to adapt to the writing style? of revocation you know what man that was it's a good question because uh, i'm used to a very different 100 percent collaborative writing process yeah. with my other projects in the past so coming in and dealing with a main songwriter was in a lot of ways a, a breath of very fresh air to have yeah. such a clear focused concise you know mission but, but was it also a little bit intimidating oh, man <laughs> intimidating because you have somebody like yo dude here you go boom <laughs> this is done, and this is how I want it. And you're like, whoa, like, what do you want over this part? You know what I mean? It's, for me, but yeah, the, the, coming around now, it's I feel way more comfortable with it. Yeah, excellent. Um, now, how do you feel personally? The sound of the band has evolved over the years. I think it's great, man. I like it. You know, it's. I was always a fan, and I was friends with the guys we met in 2010. Yeah. And got yeah. to tour together when I was playing for a different band, and that's how it all came about. But. I, I like the direction that the band's going. We're all on the same page, and we all know exactly what we want. Yeah. So I'm psyched on it. Okay. And um, what does the future hold for Revocation? Oh, uh, we're gonna tour. We'll be on the road a lot. Yeah. Don't stop. You know, our plans are to not be home. Yeah. <laughs> and to uh, continue working and supporting the record as hard as we can. So you do know. you write while on the road as well, or do you wait until you're home and you've got more time to focus on just that? Uh, we on previous records we did a lot of pre-pro on the road where I'd record, be like. Uh, when we had like zero time to yeah. really get in and record the self-titled record, I was tracking Dave like in hotel rooms, like, all right, give me this full song. I need to study and I need to, I need to hear where you're going with it. Yeah. And uh, we'll be doing if if we're on the road nonstop, then yeah, we're, we'll do it that way. But these guys have stockpiles of rats and things <laughs> like that. I write for my other bands while I'm on the road. As you can see, I got my rig set up right yeah, here, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I just tracked a song today. Oh, so, right, yeah, excellent. It worked excellent. out. Man. Okay, um, finally, have you got anything you'd like to say to your fans who are listening? Uh, just thanks for everything, and thanks for the constant support. And, you know, I always say to the kids when they're buying shirts or fans, it's like, hey, man, thanks a lot because you're keeping us out here, you're keeping us working, and, you know, we can't ever thank you enough for the support. So that's what I'm saying. 
Excellent. Brett, thank you very much for your time today. Ladies and gentlemen, Brett from Revocation. Excellent. Excellent. Thanks for having me, man.